This video is provided for educational purposes only and is not intended as investment advice or a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Did you ever wonder what happens behind the scenes of a mutual fund? In some ways, a mutual fund is very similar to a company that manufactures widgets, except that a mutual fund company's widgets are shares. To create the shares, the fund builds a portfolio of securities, such as stocks and bonds, and then divides it into equal portions. When you buy a share of a mutual fund, you are actually buying a small portion of all the securities in the fund's portfolio. Shares are manufactured daily. The number of shares produced depends on the number of investors who want to buy them and the number of investors who want to return or redeem them. Similar to a product manufactured in a factory, the price of each share is based on the value of its parts. The stocks and bonds in the portfolio, for example, including the cost of production and distribution. In other ways, a mutual fund bears very little resemblance to a widget manufacturer. Would it surprise you to find out that a mutual fund is a virtual company with no employees? It's true. Each mutual fund is set up as an individual company, a registered investment company, that enjoys tax-free status by paying out or distributing all of its gains and profits to its share owners. Because a registered investment company passes along all of its net income from dividends, capital gains, and bond interest payments to you, the share owner, it pays no income taxes. Share owners may be taxed on income and net gains realized in the fund each year. You also realize a capital gain or loss when you sell your shares. So, if the fund has no employees, who does all the work? The fund's board works with the sponsor to get the fund started. The board then oversees the manufacturing process and is responsible for hiring service providers to perform all the functions that keep the fund running. The investment advisor selects the fund's investments, managing the portfolio. Advisors may hire specialty sub-advisors. The fund accountant keeps records of the portfolio and determines the daily price per share or net asset value. The administrator keeps fund records up to date creates offering documents, and makes reports for share owners, the board, and regulators. The fund has its own compliance officer, reporting directly to the board on all aspects of fund operations. The share owner servicing agent communicates with investors, keeping the records of their investments in the fund. The distributor communicates with selling dealers and wealth managers to create investor interest. Security brokers execute trades for the fund's portfolio, as directed by the advisor. An independent custodian holds the fund's securities and cash. An independent registered public accounting firm audits the fund's financials, which can increase your confidence in their accuracy. A specialist law firm consults with the board and the fund as another check on legal operations. It takes all of these service providers working together to keep the fund running.